What's up everybody and welcome back to my let's play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. In the last episode we made our way here back to Windfall Island and got ourselves the swift sail so now we can sail the open seas at a much quicker pace and we don't have to change the wind every time we do so. So every time we press A we get on our regular sail and then we press A to pull out the fast sail and if you notice the little arrow behind us shows us the direction of the wind and well the direction of the wind is always flowing behind us. We also learned a new song by the way. Um, it is the song of passing which goes right left down I'm not gonna play it right now because obviously the time would pass and I don't really care to do that at the moment all right but anyway what we want to do next is we want to actually head all the way back to Dragon Roost Island um, there's nothing else to do on the way there but um, it's just helpful for um, what we're about to do next so um since we've already traveled this already or this path already I'm going to cut ahead until we're back um, to Dragon Roost Island so um, I'll see you guys there Alrighty guys, we're back here to the King of Red Lions, and uh, actually the direction we want to go is south. So if I do not do that, I want to pause. Okay, that doesn't pull up on my map either. Um, well, looking down at my gamepad, we're actually heading almost south. Now we're heading due south. And there's two islands on our way to our final destination that we can pass. We won't be able to do anything at them, of course, at the moment. Um, but we will be passing them by, and we should get the map fish for that area. One of them is this island right here and there's the map fish and you can see there's a giant volcano here and um, we'll be coming here much later once we have an island that we can use to cool off that lava. Alright so let's go ahead and grab this map fish so we can go ahead and add this map to our sea chart and we'll be good to go. Holy small fry. Yeah yeah I've heard. I want I take it you want to chart information about this island. Let's start by opening up your sea chart. And you'll see on our map there where he's going to ride in that this is Fire Mountain. You see there's a volcano spewing. You see that, that their volcano that's spewing out lava there is no, t like there's no tomorrow. Yeah? Well they said there's a great treasure hidden inside that thing. The thing is, everyone who's ever tried to get inside has been blasted away by the great balls of fire that keep shooting out of the top. If you want to get inside, you ought to just go find the island that's one square north and four squares west of here. That's where the power to freeze anything is hidden. Well, that's what they say. Maybe it's not true, but it wouldn't hurt to look small, Fry. Well, that's all the info I've got to offer. Want to hear it again? You have to throw some more bait in the water. Sorry, but that's my policy, Fry. Can't go fighting evil on an empty stomach, you know. And with that, I'm off. Yeah, so we could travel in that direction, but I really don't want to. Alright, anyway, we're going to continue on this way. We could go up that tower, and uh, actually, I may do that anyway. I mean, yeah, it's right here. We might as well go up it. I mean... There's probably something, probably just rubies up at the top, but, uh, why not? And there's some seagulls over there, and I don't really know why they're swarming over there. It's kind of suspicious. Yeah, anytime you see seagulls swarming like that, you probably want to be a little suspicious of the area. Because, uh, last time I checked, it usually doesn't mean anything too good. But, uh, I could be wrong. There could be something good over there. We'll check it out, maybe. Alright, so we'll use our grappling hook here to pull the pendant off of him because we need plenty of those and uh, take him out in the process please take him out there we go open up this chest of his grab a yellow ruby and it appears that's gonna be all for this little tower here yeah I figured it would just be rubies all right we also just climb all the way back down well, I think this thing actually has cannons that are shooting off at us Oh right, yeah, we are headed south, and there is a storm, and there's seagulls right there, so, uh, yeah, we should probably avoid that area if we want to be safe. Alright, and now I'm looking for one more island that's due south of here, in the next square, and there should also be a submarine around here, I believe, somewhere. And also, yeah, you ever see these cyclones? Please avoid them, because they will take you away, and they will move you off to a random location, deep, kind of out of the way of where you need to go and you can hear the music of the kind of sky and I do not have any bait open come here fish there we go I pulled it out just in time there we go holy small fry yeah yeah I've heard I take it you want chart and information about this island let's start by opening up your sea chart I kind of like the little dit night today little theme there that they have. It's almost in like every Zelda game, I believe. But anyway, this is Eastern Triangle Island. 
Tell me, small fry, you ever caught a fairy before? Because from what I've been told, when you've been beaten to a pulp by monsters and such, and you think you've finally met your match, and if you've got a fairy with you, then you've got nothing to worry about. Don't you wish you had something handy for carrying fairies around with you, fry? If you want one, go south from here until you see a miserable looking submarine floating on the sea. Look there. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you have to put some more bait in the water. Sorry, but that's my policy, Fry. Yep, he says the same thing. Yeah, okay, anyway. I'll get out of here now, buddy. Alright, so he wants us to head south, and he says if we head south, we'll find a submarine that will allow us to, um, collect fairies and such. So, um, I guess we better go over here and see what that's all about. Alright, so the submarine should be... Yep, there it is right there. There's also another island. Where's the map fish for this area, though? I'm sure it's around here somewhere. There he is. Yeah, every now and then you'll have seagulls following you, by the way, as well, which is pretty neat. I right, get up close, throw the bait out to stop immediately, and he will see us. Holy small fry. Yeah, yeah, I want some info. Yeah, I'll open up my sea chart. Sure thing. And this is Bomb Island. Pretty explosive, am I right? You gotta come sail on these seas at night when the right half of the moon is missing. It'll give you shivers, Fry. That's all the info I've got to offer. If you wanna hear it again, you'll throw some more bait in the water. Huh. It's kinda strange. So when the moon is half... When the right side is gone, swimming out here will show us an interesting sight. Strange. We may check that out a little bit later on. Alright, no stop. And then we're going to get out. Actually, we'll take this guy's pendant off of him real quick. And have to finish him off. Yeah, if they fall in the water, they die immediately, by the way. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that. And with that, here's that submarine we were looking for. And if we go inside, it has the same kind of layout as the... Uh, Bottom of the ships that we've seen in like Tetra's cabin, except you know the bottom of course is different. Probably should have taken that guy's um pendant off of him beforehand. Yeah, I want your joy pendant, please. And also your friends here as well. Let me take you out first. And hopefully take these rats out as well, because they're being quite annoying. I have my dog in here because he likes to sleep with me, but uh, he's being annoying right now. I don't know why. You know what to happen? I mean, I don't usually have this happen when I'm recording, but, um... Yeah, this is a first. Normally, he just kind of lays here. And uh, with that, we got an empty bottle, and that's what we used to hold those fairies in. And, uh, it'll, it'll, of course, it'll hold more than just fairies, but, uh... We can also use that as well. And I want that ruby back. Thank you. More. Sweet. I'll take that, too. And they're, of course, going to grab some of these rubies and stuff, but uh, it's fine, I guess. Uh, I missed that one. Oh, well. As long as we get at this, we should be fine. They won't hit us or anything. And we are good to go. It's usually why I don't like anything in my like in my recording area. Um, because normally they just kind of get in the way and they're kind of annoying and stuff. I mean, I love my dogs and stuff, but like, they're kind of annoying when you while you're trying to record, you can be a little obnoxious. Mainly because they'll either find something to bark at or they'll be in my room and start whining for some reason. I don't even know if you guys could hear it. Maybe you could, maybe you couldn't. But anyway, this is our destination. This is where we want to be, right here. I'm sure the King of Red Lions will give us a cutscene here in just a second to show us that we're here. And yep, sure enough, he does. Yes. You don't see what rises up from the horizon. This is what we must go, Link. The Forest Haven. And with that, well... Yes, of course, here we are, on the Forest Haven. It may appear as though this is a great tree rising far above the ocean surface, but it's a sacred place. It is inside this grotto that you will find the spirit of the earth, the great Deku Tree. You must speak with the Deku Tree and receive from him the sacred gem known as Feroar's Pearl. I fear that Ganon's vile hand may have already visited... Re excuse me, vile hand may have already reached the most sacred of sanctuaries. Go forth with caution, Link. Alright, sure thing. 
And we may need to buy some more bait soon. We only have one piece left. And, uh, luckily a beetle's right there. But, uh, I won't worry about that for right now. Alright. And, oh, we have a new enemy. This is a Deku Baba. Um, hit them twice. Knock them up. As soon as you knock them up, they'll go straight up vertical. And you can chop them at the, the neck. And you'll get a Deku stick out of it. And, uh, this is a Boca Baba seed. Keep it in our spools bag. And it will be useful for magic. Something we haven't seen yet. But, uh, we will be seeing soon. Those little pods sometimes stay around after you kill these guys. None of these out here will, of course. But um, some of them like to stay around. And uh, we'll grab this and this as well. And then let's continue on forward. Alright, come on, buddy. Take you out. And uh, we'll use our new grappling hook to swing our way across. Uh, yeah, we don't definitely want to get caught in these waters, because if we do... We can be in trouble. Oh uh, yeah, this is an Octo Rock, by the way. Uh, they live in the water. You use your shield to deflect their little rocks back at them and take them out. Pretty easy. Pretty self-explanatory. Alright, I need to use my shield and face it back at this guy. Boom. And with that, yeah, he's out of here. Alright, swing over to this area and we are good to go. And with that, we've reached the inside of this area. And this is the Deku Forest, I guess. Not really giving us a name yet, but uh, it's a pretty area. Got some nice music. I'm going through this water. And, and can I climb up the wall, please? Nope, apparently we're going around. Alright, I guess we'll just follow the water then. But you can see on those giant little staffs, um, there was some... Uh, those little pods go all the way to the top. Yeah, they kind of circle around and stuff. And, uh, uh oh, looks like the Deku tree's got some acne. Lots of acne. Going through that teenage stage, dude. Roll into him, knocked all those guys off. And we'll start to attack them. And uh, we've seen some new chews now. They've got green chews. They pretty much do the same thing, except instead of giving off green chew jelly, they give off... Or red chew jelly, they give off green chew jelly that I didn't get to pick up. But anyway. Yeah, sorry, dude. I don't understand you. Yeah, same link. Yeah, sorry, I don't understand. No, I still don't understand. I'm just as confused as you are, Link. Don't worry. I must apologize. I was in error. I saw your clothing, and suddenly I felt a longing. I felt a longing for an age long ago, that my l l that longing caused an ancient tongue to pass my lips. I'm the guardian spirit of the forest haven, the Deku Tree. I owe my thanks for aiding in ridding me of those foul creatures. Tell me, was not the King of Red Lions, the boat who speaks, who led you to this place? Uh, how would you know that? You know, it doesn't matter. He did. So it is true. Then you have come here because you need a. You have need of the Pearl of the Goddess. Uh, yeah, actually, I do. I see. I knew there was a reason the monsters had begun to con conjugate in their reasons around my woods. Now I understand it. He has returned. Ganon has returned. In that case, we must make haste. Crocs, little children of the woods, this traveler is not your enemy. Let, yourself, let your hearts be at ease and show yourselves. And would you look at that? It's the Crocs. Now, of course, here on the channel, we've seen these guys already from, uh... The Breath of the Wild, but uh, these are where the Koroks made their first appearance. And I didn't mention this in Breath of the Wild, but these guys are kind of considered um, like e like evolved from the uh, Kiri from uh, Ocarina of Time. And what do I call myself? Uh, Link. Link, yeah, that's it. Well then, Link, these are the Koroks, the spirit of the forest. Once upon a time, long ago, the Koroks took on a human form, but when they came to live on the sea, they took these shapes. Yeah, and see, this is why they are said to have come from the Kiri. Now they fear people, but to me, they will ever be my cherished little children. As it happens, you have come just in time for a ceremony that the Quarks hold but once every year. It is about to begin. I shall grant the pearl to you once the ceremony is complete. I must apologize for the brief delay, but if the ceremony is not complete soon, an ill fate could befall us. So let it begin. Are you ready, my children? We, we, we are not, oh great Deku Tree. Something terrible has happened. It is Makar! Makar! Oh no. What is the matter, Linder? You and Makar are always late. No, 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 it's not that, oh great Deku Tree. Makar fell into the Forbidden Woods. Oh, of course he did. What? 
The Forbidden Woods? I told him to be careful, but still Makar flew by the Forbidden Woods, and as he drew close to it... Foolish little Makar. Link, have you heard all this? Uh, yeah. The Forbidden Woods are right beside the hallowed island that is our forest haven. Those woods. The whole region is a vile place that is home to evil beasts. And now it seems that it has taken a child of the forest named Makar. Your presence here is no mistake, I deem. The King of Red Lions luckily expected, expects great deeds of you. It is why he brought you here. I am so sorry to ask you this of you, but can you go rescue young Makar for me? I should thank. But, Great Deco Tree, people cannot fly through the air. Ah, yes. Thank you, child. You are right. It is not possible to know those woods from the sea, is it? Link, I would guess you have your size that you are heavier than my Korok children, yet I still think we may be able to solve this dilemma. You must use the item that I shall pull upon you. Jeez, uh, I cannot speak. You must use the item I shall bestow upon you and fly through the sky. A leaf. He gave us a leaf. Hmm. Forgive me, Link, but I could... Could you come up to my crown and get the leaf from up there? I mean, I guess... If you really want me to climb all the way up there... Alright, it's fine. It's whatever. We're totally fine, guys. Alright, so... Uh, but yeah, we are gonna go to rescue my car now. So, uh... Looks like our little... Grabbing the... Whatever the thing's called and leaving is kind of going to be put on hold for a while. Um, so what we do is we use these pods here. You want to face the direction of these. And they will eventually spit you out. And basically you can use these to climb these little pods here. And every now and then when you kill a Deku, uh, a Deku, Deku Baba, um, you'll kind of see these things still stay. And yeah, once you get shot out, you kind of have to aim yourself. So if you fail, you're yeah, falling down. Alright, so obviously I missed something somewhere, but uh, I'm sure it'll be alright. Alright, so let's try this again. And hello, dog. Can you not be annoying? My dog's constantly moving around my room for some reason, and I'm like, please stop, you're making noise. But it's it's totally chill, I guess. As long as you guys can't hear it, I'm, I'm totally fine. And uh, where do I go from here? Well, you're quite good at that, Mr. Knight. Just keep going all the way until you get to the top. If you shoot out the wrong direction, don't panic. You just don't put the left stick in any direction. You'll land safely back in the Baba Bud. Yeah, so those are called Baba Buds. Um, oh. Okay, I see. And also, I am using the motion controls to maneuver this around. It's kind of difficult. But it, it, it kind of works. Alright, so we have to lean the left stick in a certain direction. As soon as we come out of these bulbs. Just want to aim first. If you don't get the aim first try, you can always re- Just don't move the left stick and you'll be good to go. But anyway, here we are and we've got it. This is the Deku Leaf. Looks like it's at Y, X, or R to use it. Plant your feet on the ground and use it to blow blast of air at objects and enemies. You can also jump in the air and use your magic powder to drift off the currents of the wind. Swordsman, over here. Please, you must fly over there to the here using your Deku Leaf. Alright, sure thing, but what if I want to fly up there? I guess we'll fly over here anyway. I'm not really sure what's up there, actually. Um, I'm actually want to go check that out. Yeah, so you can blow a blast of air like that, or you can jump, then press the button, and you'll glide with your Deku Leaf. But if you look up at the top left corner, that bar that just appeared is our magic bar, and that is kind of going to show us how much magic we have left. And also, you may have saw a little green sign underneath me, or a little, a little emblem symbol or something that shows us um, exactly where we're going to land if we fall. So, uh, use that to your advantage. But anyway, we have to fly all the way over there, and we'll do that by using this current here, um, that little current to fly over there, and then we'll use that little updraft there to fly over to that island, because of course, we're not going to make it all the way over. But with that, I think this is actually a good place to end off this video here, guys. So if you guys like this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. It helps the channel a lot. And if you want to see more content like this, please do consider subscribing. But once again, guys, my name is Connor. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.